Turning back to our severe weather threat, meteorologist Samara Kokinas has been all afternoon here pinpointing it for us. And Samara, this is going to be a long run for us. Absolutely. We will get a break tonight at, after 10 o'clock. But the thing about it is overnight going into early tomorrow morning, we're going to see that risk. And it's going to be during the time when people are sleeping. So I need you to really keep your alerts on your phone all night long because we're not out of the woods just yet, folks. Another round of severe weather is coming early tomorrow morning associated with our cold front. Now, as we look at the radar tonight, you can see the bulk of the thunderstorms still making their way offshore in Brevard County, Volusia and Flagler County. You're in the clear for, red now, for right now, but you'll notice that behind that is another round of showers and thunderstorms, possibly even a strong storm that is about to enter. Osceola County. So as we zoom in a little bit tighter here, you could see 95 still getting some rain, but a lot of that heavier stuff pushing offshore. This is the thunderstorm that I'm talking about. It's just to the south of the attractions has the potential to bring some hail folks. We're not out of the woods in terms of hail as well as damaging wind, lightning and very heavy rain. You'll notice that the majority of the activity is coming from the southwest headed to the north and east. Eventually it is going to clear out. We're going to get a break after about 10 o'clock tonight night, but then the second round, an even stronger round of severe thunderstorm potential arrives by early tomorrow morning. Here to talk more about that is meteorologist Troy Bridges. And Samara, that's one of our biggest concerns is that people will be sleeping when we have this next round of strong to severe storms rolling in. So let's break down that risk. Now we've been talking about the risk on that scale between one and five really all week. Every single day this week, we've had that elevated risk. Today, tonight, into the early morning hours tomorrow, that risk in yellow, which is for all of Central Florida, that's a two on the scale between one and five. And what that means is the greatest risk will be heavy rain, lightning, strong wind, and even hail. That hail, a real possibility as we head into the next several hours. We do have that tornado watch in effect, meaning conditions are favorable for tornadoes through 10 o'clock. I wouldn't be surprised if they expand this, as Samara said, later tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow. Technically, they have taken out Marion County. This is uh, the, the National Weather Service office, but we do see all counties in Central Florida right now technically technically, except for Marion County included in that tornado watch. Again, that could be extended later tonight into early tomorrow because we do have that tornado threat overnight, even into the early morning hours tomorrow. So don't forget when you go to bed tonight that you set your phone with the pinpoint weather app on to your alert. So it will be able to wake you up overnight into the early morning hours when we have those tornado warnings. You got to get those warnings. You got to know that we do have that tornado risk overnight into early tomorrow. Download the Pinpoint Weather app for free. Samara, back to you. And as we time out these thunderstorms for tonight, we still have another round of showers and thunderstorms potential through about 8 and even 9 o'clock. That'll make its way offshore. Before we get that break I was telling you about, notice after 10 o'clock, we're quiet until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Here's the timing that you need to pay attention to. So big heads up here. 3 o'clock in the morning, those thunderstorms will start to roll in from the west, and they're going to make their way east. Notice by 5 o'clock in the morning, anywhere from Volusia and Flagler right down the I-4 corridor back to the west, and extending to the east, you will see bullseyes. So that indicates that we could see those strong to severe thunderstorms with hail and even tornadic potential as we head through at least mid-morning tomorrow. This is 7, and notice we're not done. The coast still rocking at even 9 o'clock tomorrow morning before the front clears and then we will see gradual clearing from there. Overnight lows, upper 60s to low 70s. Here's tomorrow. Your daytime high will be 80 degrees once we get through these really strong thunderstorms early in the morning. Pay attention. Tomorrow it turns windy and we could have a wind advisory with a high right around 80 degrees and more sunshine. Now let's get you some results and show your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Again, tomorrow morning really of concern and we're talking about after three o'clock in the morning through mid morning, the big time you need to focus. Then after that, we'll see gradual clearing. We'll have a high near 80. It's going to be windy and even breezy and beautiful as we start next week.